eight weeks. That's home. Do as you told. Don't get too close to anyone. Oof. That was it. Just Brad Pitt telling you, as a new guy, don't get close to anyone. That's terrifying. Like, that's probably the last thing you ever want to hear going to a unit <laughs> ever. people are going to die. Is don't get close to anyone. That's like, hey, people are dying left and right. Mm -hmm. So don't make friends because you're going to lose them. And then that happened. Did you ever get a speech like that before you went off? Fuck no, dude. I don't want a speech like that. Don't get close to anyone. I was <laughs> well, like, I'd imagine it's not in your control. Like, did you ever meet anybody, like, when you were going to go that would give you some chilling advice? Uh, the, the best advice I got, and it wasn't chilling, it was just, it was just real, was the... Um, What's up, guys? This video is sponsored by 18 Alpha Fitness. If you haven't checked it out, and if you want to go special operations, you need a good fitness plan. Go check out Kevin over at 18 Alpha Fitness. He's a former Green Beret. He knows what he's doing. His post job from the military, from Special Forces, was helping uh, Air Force Special Operations get physically fit. This guy is on point, and he's a great dude. He could do custom plans and uh, just a common plan that I use, which is awesome, the kettlebell program. But I highly recommend you get a custom plan. Use code word BUCK, and he'll hook you up. Civilian that was in some three-letter agency that mm -hmm. was shooting the 320s. Remember I told that story? Mm -hmm. So there's this. So, so we're we're in Afghanistan. I told this story before, but we're in Afghanistan, and there's this guy there with long hair, three-letter agency. He used to be special forces. Now who knows what he does? CIA, something along those lines. Orange, I don't know. So he's in one of those units. Well, he's got like we're in combat, and he's got like no kit on. And he doesn't have a weapon system at all. He doesn't have an AR, M4, nothing. The, the only thing he has, so he does have a weapon system, but the only thing he has is a 320 grenade launcher. Hmm. Well, I also had a 320 grenade launcher, and I had 320 grenade uh, rounds around my entire waist. Well, guess what he doesn't have? Grenades. Hmm. And he's wearing a slick vest. The only thing he has on is this like super thin, old piece of shit, slick, vest with like it you can't attach any equipment to it it's just nothing on it mm -hmm. and it's probably rated for like nine millimeter mm. so basically it's it's bullshit right this guy is just a straight up fucking cowboy like i've never seen a cowboy in afghanistan before until i met this dude and so hair down to his shoulders backwards hat and at one point we're getting in a gunfight and we're shooting at these dudes and he looks at me he's like hey man could i get one of those grenades <laughs> Because I had all the grenades. I was like, uh, yeah, you don't have any? Like, what the fuck was your plan, dude? So I pulled out a grenade and I handed it to him. And he pops it in. And then I go to start shooting again. I look over at him. He's like, tunk. <laughs> and he looks at me and goes, hey, man. I was like, this fucking guy. <laughs> and he goes, couldn't I get another one? And I was like, yeah. And I pulled another one out and I handed it to him. He goes, Thanks, dude. And he loads it up. And he goes, tongue. <laughs> and he, I was like, is this a fucking movie? Like, yeah. is this really happening? And he asked me a third time. You wouldn't think it would take three times, but he asked me a third time. I just kept feeding this dude grenades, all my grenades, because he just wanted to sit there and tung, tung. And I actually have a picture on my Instagram, and what, I'll send it to you. We'll get put it in there, uh -huh. of him laying in the prone shooting the 320s. Oh. So one of the commandos took a picture of him because it's so fucking bizarre. Oh, okay. And uh, so anyway, so one of the, the advice that he gave me, because at one point he was pulling me up a, uh, a wall and my 320 scraped on oh, the side right, and yeah, went yeah. off. <clears throat> and so at the end of the day, I found him and was like, hey, brother, like, I can't believe that happened. Like, I feel like such a piece of shit. And he was like, dude, this is war. He's like, stupid shit's going to happen. He's like, I fragged my own guys before. He's like, I've almost shot my own dudes. I've almost been shot by my own guys. He's like, if you're going to play war, you got to accept the, the, the fucking game. You know, mm -hmm. it's just like, this is how we do it. It's stupid shit's going to happen. And I was new to direct action. You know, that was like one of my first, like really getting into ticks, uh, troops in contact. And I couldn't, he couldn't have been more right. Mm -hmm. Like what he said was basically a Brad Pitt moment for me. Right. And from that point on, it was just like every time stupid shit would happen, like 
fucking one of the guys getting shot in the head and then jumping back up yeah. and surviving it, you're like, there's one of the stupid things. Uh, team sergeant gets pissed off, goes and tries to clear a room with a grenade and forgets to pull the pin and throws it in there. So we're like, it didn't go off. So now EOD, Travis is like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. Like, now do I have to I have to go clear that bitch to see if you pulled the pin? Did you pull the pin? Like, is it a dud? Or did it just, did you not pull the pin? And so now, like, all movement stops because he just made a stupid-ass decision to throw right. a grenade in a room for no reason. <laughs> so things, and then the Delta throwing a grenade <clears throat> over a wall hits a tree, comes back on our side, and then the shrapnel hits one of our guys mm. not a big deal it was just a little shrapnel on his leg it wasn't anything big but that's the video right yeah. what's that that's the one you have video of i have that's like not the one footage? that i posted that's oh, okay. i have video of that one but that's a, i didn't post that one um but yeah so it just it just kept happening and they like that was my you know brad pitt advice it was like holy shit that guy's so right like war is fucking Sometimes you're Johnny on the spot, mm -hmm. and then sometimes you're just like, how dumb can we be? <laughs> like, are we fucking all idiots here? Yeah. It's just stupid shit happens when everything is escalated to that high level. Mm -hmm. You just can't operate 100% effectively all the time at that level. It's just mm -hmm. not going to happen.